Hi, I thank you for giving me your trust and some of your time to see this video. I will guide you on how to update your PC to Windows 11 version 24H2 in this video. You need to enable TPM in the BIOS of your computer. You need over 50 gigabytes of free storage space on your computer. You need a fast and stable internet connection. And this video is particularly helpful if your processor is not compatible with this latest release of Windows 11. We need to get the disk ISO image first. You can see it says the current release is the version 24H2. You need to scroll to see. Select this. And click on download. Pick a language that applies to you and click confirm. Then click to download it. Wait until the download is complete. Open it to start the installation. We then go to the downloads folder. You can see it here. But let's open the downloads folder, select it. You can double click it or click on mount. It shows this. The conventional thing to do is to select this setup app, double click to open it or right click to run it as admin to start the installation, say yes. You can select this to pick any option you want. Let's leave it on recommended and click next. See, that's the point of this video to help you upgrade to this latest release if your processor is incompatible with this version of Windows 11. Just close it. Open sources. Scroll. Here, be careful. There are many setup apps here. What we need is this one. You can see the size is 326 kilobytes. That's the one we want. Right click, run it as administrator. Say yes. Leave it on that. Select. We check this next. Don't select this. Select this advanced. Select this and click next. It's telling you that you have your old Windows there. Say OK. Later, you can delete that folder. Let it continue. And you successfully have this release of Windows 11 the 24H2. <laughs> See that? I'd like to hear your feedback if this was successful for you, please. Here we pick region or country and say yes. Pick a keyboard you want. Say yes. You can add another layout. Or you can just say, okay, let's just go through with that. You can 
pick the Wi-Fi. Enter the password if it asks for password. And click next. Then here you can enter the name you want. You can even skip it. You can sign in. Yes, we have to sign in or create Outlook or Hotmail account. You can sign in if you have a PIN or Again, this video is how to upgrade your PC with unsupported processor to this latest release of Windows 11 24H2.